Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're going to be playing Book of Demons. It is a card-based RPG that um, has a pop-up book style to it. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, it should show us the intro, and then we'll go ahead and start playing. <laughs> it should be uh, pretty interesting. Um, I like these kind of stories, so let's go ahead and go. Book of Demons, a truly grim story in our collection, not for the faint of heart. A wandering hero returns home, only to find everything different than remembered. A horrendous evil rose from the depths of hell, devoured the brave and poisoned the living with despair. For in the depths of a place once holy, a dark ritual is concluded. Oh, the ultimate evil has awoken. Adventure. Darkness. Horrors. Wait below. Good luck. <laughs> I really do like this style. So, uh, we start out as a warrior. I don't believe we can, yeah, we can't change to the other two the rogue or the mage, but we will go ahead and do what we can um currently which is the warrior so let's go ahead and create our character early access disclaimer thank you for participating in the book of demons early access um thank you and with love the thing trunk team okay character name well we're gonna go ahead and name him malig dory just because I name all my guys that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started. All right. So there is a woman that we can speak with. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Is that really you? I'm so happy to see you after all this time. It seems like it's been ages since you left our town. I just wish we weren't meeting under such dire circumstances. Back then, it was peaceful. But now, the town is disturbed by a demonic presence that's spreading throughout the land. Mm. Most of our friends are gone. Some people fled. Some took their own lives. Oh. Some have just vanished. Those who stayed have lost their minds or are too frightened to leave their houses. I'm doing my best to keep everyone's spirits up. But the truth is, we won't survive for long without help. Just don't tell anybody I said that. You must have lots of questions, but I don't have many answers. Talk to the sage if you want to know more. He might be able to help you. It's a lot of talking for the first section. Okay, so gossip, uh, I think that's what we just listened to. Then the magical cauldron, no clue what that is, and a golden key. That's 10,000 um, gold, it would seem. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And we now have the sage. Let's go. Your arrival brings hope to my old heart. Uh oh. There's no better way to forge one's skill than by traveling. Indeed. Sure, no. <laughs> uh, but I beg you not to leave. We need you here. Dark things lurk in the depths beneath the old cathedral. I've seen plenty of evils in my travels, but this makes my journey through the dragon wastes look like a walk in the park. <laughs> Everything started with the disappearance of our bishop. I fear he has been dragged into the catacombs deep below the church. I do not know what caused such desecration of that holy place. Mm. That enigma is yet to be solved. We got you. And you are the only one who can do it. Yes. Just remember to be careful. Few who have ventured into the dark made their way back. And those who did were no longer alive. What? 
All right, we got this. Say, okay, unlock card slot. So that looks like something that we'll want to do um, until we can get all the card slots. Um, identify cards. So he can identify cards. That's going to cost money, I'm guessing. All right. Let's, um, let's go to the church. Okay, this... Whoa, what in the wood? Not discover. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say that's... Okay, there's... Um, so it's just showing us areas, sections. <laughs> he has a rubber ducky with a uh, spike collar on it. That's hilarious. Okay, so, wow, we have a long way to go. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. I am the sword that splits darkness. Who, who are you? Who are you, the sword that splits darkness? Okay, movement... Click behind, or, um, okay, click anywhere to move, click behind or on your character to stop. Your character will stop at intersections, okay? So, let's go ahead and go to this intersection, because, it's a, okay. You can interact with objects in the radius, uh, light radius, so... Okay, and then okay, then all we have to do is hover over it to that just went gold. Okay. So he auto attacks. Can I speed up? Okay. Well, I don't know if I sped it up or not, but um Okay. Click to choose your target. Your character auto attacks. Auto attack is slow. Each hit damages one heart. Click or click and hold on the target to attack faster. Um, okay. When engaged with monsters, click and hold to retreat. Okay. Why would I want to... Okay, let's... Click and hold... Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, 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 yep. Don't, don't want to let them get too close to us. I think what I'll probably end up doing is doing the, the clicking. Um, okay, icons on the top uh, represent points of interest on the level. The icon is revealed <clears throat> when you're getting near. Okay, so it looks like there's a chest and there's the chest. So I don't think we have to get closer to it. What's this? Okay, we got health potion. Resume and equip. Okay, oh, oh, wow. Oh, more learning stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, view your cards by pressing C or using the button in the bottom right corner. Rearranging cards between your card pane and slots by clicking and dragging them. Only equipped cards are active. Okay. To unlock uh, more card slots, visit the Sage. We already know about that. So this is number one. I'm guessing I can just press one for that. I'm not going to use it yet. Yeah, I think it's better just to click them. It just feels better. It feels... Oh, come on. Your heart points are your life. If you lose them all, you will die. Your heart points don't auto-regenerate. Use fountains and cards to recover health. You can always go back to the town and be healed by the healer for free. <laughs> I don't know why I was talking like that. Oh, we got a potion. Oh, nice. It just adds it right to it. Let's go ahead and use that because... Get those coins, coins, coins. Yeah. Ooh, was that poo? Was that poo? Don't put my hands in poo. Is that why you said? Ugh. <laughs> That's not nice. A cheap. Oh, what? Um, leveled up. Okay. Kill monsters and gain experience points to level up. Each time you level up, all monsters oh, lose one heart. That's cool. So if you're fighting an, um, 
and you kill uh, if you level and then all the all of them become easier to kill so that's really cool every level gives you one point which can be added to your heart or boost your magic distribute later okay so there's this over here let's see I'm currently at 10 hearts if I put one point in it does that mean it's only gonna go up by one whoa what's that magical cauldron head to the town to talk to barmaid and learn about the cauldron okay so it looked like the barmaid I can see that the sanctity of this place has been fouled fouled um it looks like the cauldron takes the option that you don't take so that's interesting okay we killed the the one item that we had to kill total kills and then we have to kill 11 more of these and then um this new monster so let's go ahead and do it all right Oh, nice. Nice to know that things can spawn from those. Okay. Okay, zombies. Oh, that's what the new new thing is. Zombies and some other monsters have poisoned hearts. On death, zombies explode with a shockwave that poisons everyone around it. Zombies cannot be poisoned. They are healed instead. Okay, so do not attack zombies with poison okay nice to know i'm gonna go this way first it's close okay that seems to be much faster to kill them is just clicking on them oh that's interesting did that do anything what is that what is that okay oh it's a boss Bosses are tough to defeat. Each one has multiple lives. So we we're going to have to kill it more than once. The more lives a boss has, the more rewards he drops. When slain, uh, when slain, all bosses, uh, all boss lives are shown on the boss bar, which is this. Before each life, the boss is immune. He is repairing a special, uh, preparing a special attack and cannot be stopped. Okay, so we have the boss bar here. Let's just go ahead and, oh, is he an archer? Okay, okay. Okay, he's immune. He's doing a special attack. Okay, definitely did okay good thing we got away from him help he only put two heart skeletons up though so that's that's an easy fix come on kill him kill him okay we took a hit okay he's immune for a second oh he's just spawned three more come on kill it kill it kill him okay he's he's going down he's he's dead okay what did he drop Dropped a cup of money and I leveled up. Let's go ahead and level. I think I'm gonna also increase mana. I'm pretty sure that's gonna come into effect somehow at some point. Mm. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put one into mana. We'll just go back and forth between the two. I didn't get any cards though, that's kind of annoying. Alright. Notice the footprints you're le uh, you leave behind. They show the direction you came from and mark the places you visited. Golden footprints mean a corridor has been fully visited. Normal footprints, okay, normal uh, normal footprints, partially visited. No footprints you haven't been uh, you haven't been there yet. Okay, so. This has all been visited because they're all golden. That's good to know. Um, we've been there though. Why is that not? Okay, maybe because this corridor hasn't. 
Okay, he's dead. I like that. I like that too. What is that? Mighty Blow deals. Does that say massive? The M is kind of cut off. Massive damage and stuns the target requires target to spell and targetable. So let's go ahead and add that to our spell book. Um, how many, how much man does it require? It only costs one and we have six. So we'll have to wait until we have a target, I'm guessing. All right, let's keep going down. Okay, we can now go down. Okay, you are about to leave this part of the dungeon. Are you sure you wish to progress? Yes, let's go deeper. Let's do this. Okay. So I'm I, I leveled. I right, got Okay, what is what's this? What's <laughs> I'm I'm leveling my I guess my IQ, apparently, currently, I'm ignorant. And this is for the avatar, so I can change this avatar. It was the last one, a dragon. Um, stars collected. Um, adept bone col uh, collector. Defeated 10 skeletons, bronze level. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and continue on. Yeah. Okay, begin game. Okay, so we can select the amount of time. It looks like, congratulations, Flexiscope is now available. With Flexiscope, you can choose the size of the game session you will play. Depending on your preference, you can divide your adventure into smaller or bigger, uh, regardless of how much time you have. Oh, that's really cool. Um, Let's see. Let's go ahead and go with the small then. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, it looks like we're going to learn some new creatures here. No clue what that is. Um, we can tell what that is. It's an archer of some sort. Um, and some of these... Oh, what is that? That looks weird. Is that like a curly tail? Or what's what's that part? Uh, either way. Either way. We'll, we'll get it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. Nice. I think we're gonna. Yeah. We're, oh. Okay. Some armored monsters are protected by shields. Damage the shield by clicking on it. Monsters are immune until their shields are destroyed. Some shields are magical and can. Uh, can reappear after being destroyed. Okay, so we need to actually click on that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> You're actually breaking the shield. All right, let's. I'm I'm an overachiever. I like to collect all the Pokemon. So, what what you what you say? Gargoyles. Gar gargoyles have stone hearts. They are immune to elemental effects, poison, fire, and ice. When gargoyles turn to statues, they heal over time. Beware. Okay, kill it, kill it. There's a thing going on over here. <laughs> Alright, um... Of course. Oh, that's a zombie. Zomboid. Come on, die! They poison. They poison this guy. That's, <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's get our money. Wow, nothing. Oh, don't. De Oh boy. Uh oh. Um there we go. Oh nice, it's an insta-kill right there. 
Okay. It's coming back around here. Where are my footprints at on this other side? Okay. Let's go there. Over here. Okay, that's gold. That's all I care about. <laughs> to be honest. Okay, Gargoyle. Uh. Leveled up. So you, do you have left someone else? Oh yeah, he. he okay, um, level up. We're gonna go ahead and go into health, and one heart into the cauldron. Again, no clue what that is. Whoa! Something else went into the cauldron. Okay, ingredients found in the dungeon are placed in the cauldron and transformed into prizes. Every time you turn a level point into a heart or mana, the point of the opposite type goes into the cauldron. To collect the uh, contents of the cauldron, talk to the barmaid. Beware, when you die, you lose the prizes stored in the cauldron. Mana and heart points are preserved. <laughs> uh, but we got two things over here. Unidentified card. And hearts. Okay. Wasn't as awesome as I was hoping it would be. Alright. Let's go ahead and go down now. Alright. I don't know why I use that, but why not? Oh. Armor of some sort. Bloody armor recovers hearts lost in battle. Ooh. Let's go ahead and equip that. Whoa. My man is green now. Hopefully they'll tell me what that's about. So I don't think it was poison. Yeah, I, I have no clue what that is. Ma oh, you know what? Um, there's games that I've played where... Um... By putting like some like an armor on, it call okay. See, it has a um a green diamond. So what that's doing is it's taking up, it's locking up five points of mana. There, okay. Actually, it says here, this orb contains your blue and green mana. Blue mana casting spells cost blue mana. There are many ways to replenish it fountains poison uh, potions artifacts car uh, artifact cards etc green mana equipped artifact cards like what i have here um okay cards convert blue mana into green mana green mana can't be used for casting but will uh, but it will change green to blue once you unequip the artifact card. So if you had all artifacts, you'd have no mana to spend. Ugh. <laughs> green dookie. Or <laughs> all right, so... Um, oh, what's... what's okay, uh, it looks like I, can't, I have enough money now. I have 2,000... Um, two thousand two hundred twenty-two dollars or coins. Um, let's see. Character collected stars. Don't know what that's about. Character, uh, characters gold keys. I don't know what that about. What that's about either. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go to the exit. Can I just click on this? Will take me straight to the. Apparently, it will. All right, so we've completed this level. All right, everything is dead. Zombie corpses. Gargoyles. All right, so we're going to learn about uh, archers, which, I mean, makes sense. Zombies, gargoyles. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, and we're going to learn about archers real quick. Okay, they have four health. Uh, we need to get killed. We need to... Oh, wow. Uh, we need to kill this zombie quick. Okay, they... Oh, wait a minute. What's that about? They're shooting the hearts out of me. Oh, collect the hearts. Collect the hearts. Collect the hearts. Oh my goodness. Collect the heart. Oh, and I'm poisoned now. Thank you so much. Poison damages over time. Uh, poison damages you over time. Total number of poison damage is shown below the heart orb when the demon when the demon glows quickly click the orb to shorten the poison duration okay there we go come on i'm not a fan of the skeletons <laughs> well i'm not a fan of skeletons yes um but i'm not a fan of the archers for sure Give me my heart back. All right, let's go ahead and use that potion. He's dead. Okay. Good there. More archers. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Die, die. Oh my goodness. Get my hearts, get my hearts. This is a bad, bad deal. Okay, good. We got, we got to heal out of that. What? That didn't heal me completely? What? Well, that was rude. Alright, hopefully we'll find a, a healing cauldron. Uh, soon. Wow. We are low. There we go. Yeah, the archers are the worst. Oh, no. Did I die? Oh, no. <laughs> we just found the gargoyle. Um, okay. Linked monsters. Some monsters are guarded by others. They are immune until you kill all the guards. Some rewards can also be um, can also be guarded by monsters. You need to kill all the guards to get the treasure. Okay, so the first off, we need to kill this guy. Get away from him. We can see the linked monsters coming at us. Oh, and um, uh, C C. Can I? Oh no, they're still attacking me. And I leveled up. Thank goodness. Okay, I need to take this off. Okay, he's immune. He's immune. Because, you know why? Because I gotta kill the other guys. <laughs> First. So that was a waste of mana. Okay, got him. Got that guy. Okay. Give me one. Are those giving me one overall heart every time? Because that would be kind of nice of them. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Um, shows you that I will do anything to get <laughs> money. Ugh. Ugh. 
Okay. Alright, and there is a thing up here. Gives me some money. One up here. Gave me some money. Okay, so we need to go ahead and finish there. So, what do you guys think of the game? I mean, it's um, it's pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> to a point. But it is also a little bit hard, I guess. Um, it's not anything that's too challenging but i'm guessing it's going to get more challenging the, the more monsters we run into i do like the boss fights and the challenges of them okay we got money okay there's that and we got mana so it did increase the mana by one and we still need to level up too what do you click that So it would seem that we've completed the map. So now we're just going over to here. No, he's not automatically going to go. Yep. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking the game. Um, let's go ahead and level before we go through. Or he's going to automatically go through. Uh, let's go ahead and put one point there. And go down. Alright, so we're going to learn one more monster. And then we will be done. <laughs> that was simple. I like that you have to break the, the those down with the hammer. What are, are those? Is that a pig? A zombie pig? <laughs> zombie pig? Zombie pig? <laughs> Throw those boots or whatever those things were. Oh. Is there one down here now? Okay, archers are taken care of. Get all that money. Kill the pig. So the pig doesn't even take very many hits. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I just hit him once and he blows up. Alright, let's get. Is that another boss? That looks like another boss. Okay. Let's complete that. And then we need to go back around this way. And then we can go all the way back up to here. Is that not... Did we not complete a whole circle there? Look like we did. Is that not a boss there? Looks like a boss. Yeah, he's a boss. He's a boss. He's the boss. Okay, he looks like he's. Okay, he's immune for a second. Now he's spawning. They're not linked though. Oh yeah, I took him out in one cast. Oh yeah. A lot of small zombies, but not really anything to worry about. Threw some carrots in there. Make a good pie. A new thing. Oh, a shield. A chance to block incoming missiles. It's, gonna, it's an artifact. That means it's going to take up mana. Um, it's going to take a four. It means I won't be able to cast. But I'll go ahead and use it for right now. Oh, it only takes up half mana, so that's not too bad. Alright, let's go ahead and move down. 
and we did it. All right, so let's see. We got new cards. Oh, is he going back in? No, let's go ahead and head up. Go to town. All right. So I gotta choose to go deeper. It finishes out that section. Okay, unlucky. Add up Mason, killed gargoyles. And survival, killed zombies. Okay. Oh yeah, we got the snake. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm not gonna worry about changing the avatar unless we get something uh, research, um, except I guess. Okay, go to town. And we're gonna buy another slot. So let's go ahead and talk to Finally, him first. A challenge and a chance to use my knowledge for the good. These mystical cards aren't used to cheat and get money from the hopeless and naive. So of course the fortune telling woman knows nothing about them. However, the true scholars of the arcane, like the hermits of the eastern wilds, sometimes pass their secrets to those they deem worthy, like myself. You should know that despite their modest look, such objects can hold powerful enchantments with remarkable properties. Still, as long as their wondrous attributes remain unknown, they are completely useless. Consider yourself fortunate, as I will identify them for you. Oh, nice. Uh, Did we get one that he can uh, identify to? Um, Few we're... living souls venture into the depths under the cathedral, as this is okay. So he's showing all the or at least the different skeletons that we, we learned about. Men of the cloth, mages, and even kings of old were buried there with troves of gold and gems, but the dead are now restless, quickened by some unholy powers. They are haunting the corridors like wild animals, and their courage, virtue, and talents have been replaced with mindless violence. Okay. Animated cadavers okay, so he's going to just tell us all the information about... Um, okay, we understand what those things are, so let's go ahead and go back, and it's going to cost a thousand for that. It's going to cost two thousand for that, so let's go ahead and identify a card, I guess. It's better be worth a thousand. Oh yeah, buddy. Uh, grants extra attack against additional opponent in range. Ooh, okay, so let's go ahead and resume. We'll redo our, our um, cards in just a minute. Um, okay, unlock a slot. Yes. And blammo. Next one is 5,000. What? Okay, so let's go ahead and close this. We're going to go ahead and press C. And let's go ahead and get rid of that for a moment. Um, what if I got rid of that? Take that away. And didn't worry about mana at all. What if I just go with a full um, AC... Um, an AC uh, block chance, uh, chance to spawn hearts when you uh, when being hit. Okay, so that's what allows us to get our hearts back. So I'd say let's go with this. Oh, oh, we can't have multiple. Um, how many is that? That's six. <laughs> this is four. Okay, it actually says right here. How many there are, how many it takes. Hmm. So we can't even use multiples yet. Um. Let's see. It doesn't take a minute to put that on there. Um. Shield is going to be four, and this is going to be five. So, do we have an up? Do we have a level? Let's go ahead and level up, and then we'll go back in, um, and we could do this and this. <laughs> that takes us to zero. Um, 
six, seven, eight, nine. We have a total of nine, so we could actually do. Um, could do both of these. Wait a minute, that does that that doesn't make sense. No, we can't. Because there's nine, this would be ten. Okay, but I think this is probably. We don't even need that card in there because it's not going to do anything. What we need are um, maybe item cards. Item cards are probably what we need. And then um, spell cards. If we get any spells that are worth having, like a heal over time or anything like that, then we'll go ahead and add that in is what I'm thinking. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end here. Hopefully you like this. This is a really cool looking game. And um, I will talk to you guys next time. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.